so excited. It's a huge day for the garage because my new 54 inch combo top and bottom cart from Homac Tools is here. Now we're gonna talk a lot about this over the next coming videos, but um, one of the things I do wanna make sure is I get a good unboxing, a good first look, and uh, cause I've been going over this for months and months and months. So we're gonna get a good look at this, then we'll go over it one by one, but let me try and unbox it. This is like 400 pounds and this is 250, so it's just me, so. It comes with, I'm not gonna use these, but it comes with some little magnets that you can stick on the front that'll point out what you've got in each drawer. I'm not gonna use it, but it's a nice feature. Man, this thing is nice. Of course the handle is in the very last drawer. Shit. First things first, let's put the handle on the bottom cabinet. And obviously it comes with hardware, of course. It's gonna be hard to focus, but the handle is also this super nice, rugged, sturdy material. The drawers all come with Homac branded drawer liners already intact. I'm so excited, let's keep unboxing. This one's like 300 pounds. So, you can see, they come with the box, the uh, board, and then they come with this thick foam here too. And they were on a pallet, but we threw the pallet away to get it in my truck. Later. Quest to be a good YouTuber, some things uh, went wrong in the unboxing portion of the video that you were just watching. However, I did manage to get the box put together, still by myself, but it is a little bit later on, and unfortunately, I wasn't able to film the complete unboxing, but let's stop talking about the negatives and start talking about the positives. Just look at that box, the quality the craftsmanship, and the chic. Actually, I have an idea, hold on. Uh. You guys know I'm a huge Ducks fan, but I have the perfect hoodie for this occasion. It's my uh, Adam's Drip hoodie, and uh, let's match the new bay. So, if you guys don't know, I used to be a Caterpillar diesel technician, and uh, I no longer work in the field, but, I wanted somewhere at home to store the tools. And I used to use this highly embarrassing Harbor Freight Mechanics five drawer tool cart, which, uh, kind of embarrassing. I mean, it's, it's not bad, but coming from a prestige equipment company such as Caterpillar, and then having all my tools, or some, some of my tools stored in this, uh, this cart, well, something had to be done. Now, I'm gonna to talk to you guys more a little bit at the end of the video about why I chose this box and how I got to the decision of choosing this Homac box. For you who don't know, it's the 54 inch combo RS Pro. We're gonna go through it drawer by drawer, but this is episode three of the garage build.
like I said, these things are an absolute great, great value. Um, the MSRP on these is just under $3,000 for the combo kit. You can buy the bottom separately with like a stainless steel top, but you don't want that. You want the combo kit. So these are an 18 gauge steel toolbox. They have some great casters. I think they're five inch, super heavy duty, four casters. And of course they got ball bearing, all the stuff that you want in the toolbox, right? If you're looking at toolboxes like this, you know what you want and this has all of it. It's got a decent gauge steel. It's got the, it's got the, um, uh, the ball bearing sliders. One of the huge things that was a deciding factor for me on this box was the fact that it has the um, the tilting handle that goes all the way across. On these US General boxes that I know a lot of people are a huge fan of and a lot of people are a big fan of the uh, US General toolbox, but the, there's no there's no handle. You have to flick this little peg um, on the on the edge. And if your right hand's full and you wanna grab from this side of the drawer, you can. So having this full drawer thingy was absolutely critical for me. Next is security. Now, for me, obviously, if someone wants the box, they can just probably wheel it away, but it's heavy as fuck. Now, it does come with two different keys for the top and the bottom, and when the lid is down, these drawers won't open. Now the top key just turns a quarter turn, which is fine, it just literally locks that lid in place. But, obviously, it's very nice, it's a soft open, stuff like that. But the bottom, the bottom is where it gets impressive, and I'm not talking Kardashian. Just listen to this. That sounds like a jail cell, and it just sounds like a jail cell. And of course, all these drawers are locked. Every single one of them locks. And then, like I said, just take two. Oh, oh man. And then they, oh. And one of the feedback things that I got a lot from my friends is obviously, it looks very symmetrical. As you can see, this top box has a four and four identical split. You have the one um, long length drawer in the uh, top of the bottom box. And then you have four drawers on the right, five drawers on the left. So let's talk about some critiques. Now, this is a made in China box, unfortunately. And I think Home Homex quality control is adequate to be comfortable in buying one of these boxes. Obviously, they get great reviews. Uh, you can buy them through Napa if you don't want to buy it directly online. If you want to look at them, they might have them even in your local Napa store. But there are two things that I would have done differently. The first one is of all of these drawers, only the very bottom two on the bottom box have two drawer slides, meaning 200 pound weight capacities. Now these top drawers, these skinny ones with a 100 pound slider isn't that big of a deal, but it would have been nice to have an extra slider on this one because I believe this is where most people are gonna keep their sockets. And as you can see, quite a few sockets. This could start to get a little bit heavy. Second thing is the powder coating. Now, this one doesn't have any powder coat imperfections, but my first top box, part of the reason that this was delayed, um, did have a powder coat imperfection. So I did get a replacement top box. Talk Turkey and how I chose this box for the garage over all the other options. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. I that Harbor Freight cart is cool, it's okay. There's nothing inherently wrong with it. But when you go to, I went to Harbor Freight to look at the Harbor Freight version of this. Um, and when you pull the drawers out, for instance, on this one, you know, they're pretty solid. But when you pull the Harbor Freight drawers out, and you see how smooth that slide back in and latch itself, by the way, um, when you go to the Harbor Freight one, at least the one that I tested, you could almost wiggle it, actually, like that. Now if you wiggle the drawer back and forth, which of course you wouldn't do, but if you wiggled the drawer like that, the entire thing made some flabbergasting noise, whereas, we'll do a different one. Of course you can wiggle it a little bit, it's on sliders, but the whole thing doesn't shake and sound like you're beating on a broken tambourine. So. For me, um, the Harbor Freight bottom is 1100 and the top is what, $699? Um, which is more expensive than this, 
on sale. So for me, when a Harbor Freight item is more expensive, it's, it's no longer feasible. So the US General was out of the race. I looked at Husky, I looked at, um, what's the other one, Milwaukee at Home Depot. Decent boxes, $900 price point. At that price point for a home user, it's a sufficient box. Full disclosure, there is a Husky box right there. Um, but again, not a professional grade, I don't think. And you may disagree that this is a professional grade. That's completely up to you. If you do disagree, let's hear it below. Disclaimer, please don't tell me that it's not Snap-on or Mac or Macco. I know that, it's not, this is not a Snap-on, it's not a Macco, it's not a Mac, okay? We'll get that out of the way so we don't have to have this conversation in the, in the comments below. But short of, short of spending $8,000, $10,000, I think this is one of the greatest values that you can get for a prosumer grade product at the house. Now you gotta remember, this is MSRP at $3,000. So I'm gonna go off the $3,000 price. Anyway, I worked up a deal with a company called Boxo Tools, which is one of those companies that will send you a box and then you'll, they'll send you um, a thousand dollar set of um, the EVA foam inserts. So you feel like you're filling your toolbox up and you're gonna get a full toolbox. Um, their box was 45 inches, so it's about nine inches, well, 10 inches shorter than this. And then it was the same depth as my Husky box, which I don't like, it's real, a really shallow box. And it just wasn't, I mean, it looked cool. It looked really cool. I, I'll give it to that to them. It looked really cool, but um, they have zero reviews. They have, they didn't, I, they didn't know what gauge steel it was. The tool set is a, is a um, 217 piece set. And it's all, it's all, it's, it looks, it looks cool. I mean, it's one of those ones, it's like um, Tang tools where you open it up and it's all nice and laid out and blah, blah, blah. But you're filling a lot of empty space with foam and you're paying $900 for a 217 piece set of which you have um, no curation over. You have no idea, well, I mean, it tells you what you're getting, but I've, I'll do a separate toolbox tour video of what is in all these drawers. So if you do want to see that, take this opportunity to subscribe um, and click the bell notification because that video will be in a separate video because I got to get you for at least two. If, if you only stay for two, I appreciate you. But if you subscribe, then you're part of the tribe. I just made that up. So please just leave a like just for that. But anyway, um, I wasn't overall impressed with the box. So the guy didn't, didn't, didn't really know a lot about his product and his communication skills were um, left something to be desired. So I decided, even though I was getting a deal with Boxo, um, to part ways with that opportunity. Uh, you know, I didn't really look into the Tang tools too much. Um, I, from what I understand, they have a, a nice product and I, I see a, uh, various other YouTubers using their product, but for I think for the box equivalent to this one, now, granted, it does come with 1100 piece set. I think was $7,000 and I already have a lot of the tools. A lot of those things I'm purchasing um, duplicates or even triplicates. So it's hard for me to purchase one of those uh, off the shelf kits when most of those are gonna be duplicates, at least duplicates. So I didn't go with Tang. And then obviously Snap-on Mac Comac, Great products, I would love to have a Snap-on box here. But realistically, for home use, I'm not a full-time tech anymore, so for me, there's not a lot of point in, in spending that kind of money. They're great, but with proper care and proper maintenance, I believe this should last a good amount of time. Maybe it lasts 10 years, maybe it lasts 20 years, who knows, but um, you know, there's Craftsman's boxes out there that, that have lasted 30 years, so. But you know, if if uh, I, you know if if Snap-on was in the money for what I wanted to store my my home set at, that would have been probably just you know just to be a brand whore. If you guys don't know, I'm a bit of a I'm a bit of a brand whore. So, but anyway, that's kind of how I came up with Home Act. They're a really nice um, 
medium. I think they're, like I said, I think they're a good prosumer level. And I'm re actually really happy with this. And like I said, per FCC guidelines, I have to tell you if this is sponsored and it's not. I paid for this. I'll show you the receipt if you want. And that is going to be it from episode three of Flat Out Garage. If you guys like this, if you think it was a good addition to the garage, please let me know your thoughts below in the comments. Um, like I said, there are gonna be separate videos on this. So like, again, if you're into tools, if you're into stuff like that, uh, make sure you follow along because you don't wanna miss it. And if you do miss it, then we're gonna be talking about you in the video and you might miss it. So anyway, uh, like I said, this is just a quick update. We're gonna continue with the garage. We'll do a quick little 360. We also got this cool little hanging thing from Walmart. It was uh, pretty cheap and they're, uh, it's cool for all the all the lawn tools. The the wood shelf is still intact, and maybe one day we'll do a little wood area video. But anyway, guys, that is it. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next video.